paste one, two, three. I think it's one.
Good morning, and welcome to the campus of the University of Oklahoma. At this time, would you please stand and greet the processional party of the Gaylord College of Journalism and Mass Communication as they enter the auditorium.
Thank you. You may be seated. Good morning to all and welcome. I'm Ed Kelly, Dean of the Gaylord College of Journalism and Mass Communication. We're really glad you're with us this morning. Here's a bit of a preview of what's in store for you over the next hour or so. The president of the JMAC alumni group, Sunday Busby, will welcome our graduates to the ranks of alumni. We also will hear a few comments from this year's outstanding senior, Rachel Meltzer, and then hear a keynote address by one of our distinguished alums, Kelly Gann. We also want to remind you that this ceremony is being streamed live to our website and will be archived for future viewing. So tweet, email, or text your friends and family and tell them to go online to watch the ceremony at ou.edu backslash Gaylord Live. Okay, I would like to start by recognizing the people here today who put so much time and effort into making sure that these graduates would succeed. So here we go. Well, all the parents of a student who is graduating today, would you all please stand? All right, keep, keep standing. All right, how about grandparents? Grandparents in the audience, you stand too. All right, keep standing. Okay, how about aunts, uncles, spouses, partners, and others? Please stand too. Obviously, as you can see, our graduates would not be here today enjoying such success without the support and guidance from all of you who are standing. So for that, for what you've done to get these students to this point this morning, please give yourself another hand. It also takes a lot of effort and support from faculty members and staff once our students are on campus. I would like to thank the Gaylord College leadership team that includes faculty and members of our professional staff. Included on this leadership team are our Associate Dean for Academic Affairs, Dr. Alani Stain, and Yvette Walker, our Assistant Dean for Student Affairs. Our college is organized around three main areas of study, journalism, strategic communication, and media arts. Four area heads serve on leadership to shape the curriculum and ensure we are meeting the needs of our students and of the industries that we serve. These faculty members are Dr. Robert Kerr, the area head for journalism, including digital, print, and broadcast. Dr. Meta Kerstarfin and Debbie Yont, the co-area heads for strategic communication, which encompasses our advertising and public relations majors. And Dr. Ralph Bellavo, who leads our media arts program which encompasses professional writing and creative media production majors. Our graduate programs are led by Dr. Peter Gade, who is also a member of the journalism faculty. I would also like to thank the many other faculty members who are seated behind me today on the stage, as well as those who could not join us this morning, for the enormous amount of time, and I do mean an enormous amount of time and energy they put into mentoring these students. Our esteemed faculty is complemented by our well-trained professional staff who support the efforts of the college and provide guidance to your students as they work through their college years. Finally, I would like to thank a special group of students who are with us today, the Gaylord Ambassadors. These students often serve as the student face of Gaylord College, engaging with alumni and friends at major events like this one. One of them may have helped help you find your seat or given you a program. Or maybe a few years ago, a Gaylord ambassador may have given your family a tour of our magnificent building. So thank you to the ambassadors who are here this morning for all that you do. Here at the University of Oklahoma, students began studying journalism under the English department in the early 1900s. Journalism became a separate school under the OU's College of Arts and Sciences in 1913, making it one of the first of its kind in the nation. The landmark $22 million gift from the Gaylord family in year 2000 that elevated our program to college status was a catalyst for a renaissance in the journalism of mass communication 
here at this university. Since 2000, enrollment in the college has doubled. The college is now home to some of the most successful undergraduate and graduate programs on our campus. Currently, more than 1,300 students call Gaylord their home. We are the fourth largest degree-granting college on the Norman campus. The enrollment numbers speak to the continued relevance in our world of the professions contained within our five degree programs. Our numbers hint at the excellence contained in the college as evidenced by the campus-wide honors and uh, both state, regional, and national awards that our students earn. Gaylord is dedicated to providing state-of-the-art instruction to our students to prepare them for careers in a dynamic, technology-driven world. For 70 years, the journalism program at OU has housed one of the only professional writing programs in the country. And among our Fordham students include New York Times best-selling authors. Our professional writing faculty have published numerous titles. And this year, our PW students, as we call them, have had their work placed and published around the country. Gaylord College has been recognized as a top 10 journalism program by the Radio Television Digital News Association. Our nightly newscast, OU Nightly, was recognized nationally as the best of its kind in the United States. This year, we sent journalism students to Washington, D.C. to cover news stories for media outlets here in Oklahoma, and we sent students on the road to every OU football game. And a number of our students interned at media outlets all across the country this past summer. Our advertising program has been ranked in the top 10 in the country by bestofcolleges.com. Our public relations program, which is the largest in Gaylord College, is the nation's oldest accredited PR program. Our strategic communications seniors in advertising and public relations in recent years have worked with clients in their capstone classes, which include Hewlett Packard, Microsoft, American Honda, Quick Trip, Victoria's Secret, Carnival Cruise Lines, and the number one Major League Baseball bat company, Marucci. Many of our advertising and PR students work in our integrated agency known as Lindsay and Asp. And such experience leads to internship opportunities across the country, which lead to jobs upon graduation. Creative media production is our fastest growing major in Gaylord College. It has nearly doubled in the past six years. Students frequently win student achievement awards at the Heartland Emmy Awards for competition in a multi-state region. And we have won more national awards in video production from the Broadcast Education Association than any program in the United States. Graduates, we hope you see that Gaylord College is working hard to prepare students for the rigors of a career in the modern media and communication world. We want you to be prepared to be journalists, communicators, innovators, and entrepreneurs, and to be difference makers in any career that you might choose. So to you, the fall class of 2021 here today, I say on behalf of my faculty and staff colleagues that it has been our privilege to serve you as instructors, mentors, and guides to each one of you. You've walked the same path as more than 11,000 OU journalism and mass communication majors before you. Graduates have had distinguished careers in digital spaces, broadcasting, print, filmmaking, advertising, public relations, professional writing, publishing, the law, government, and teaching, as well as many, many other fields. Today, we challenge you to follow your dreams, to use the talent and dedication you have, and to excel in all of your life's pursuits. By doing so, you will honor your family, your degree, our college, and our university. So parents, family, and friends, join me in congratulating our graduates. This ceremony obviously honors our new graduates. And as they move into the ranks of alumni, they become part of a support system for future generations. The backbone of that support system is JMAC, our Journalism and Mass Communication Alumni Association. JMAC contributes a number of resources, both financial and in-kind, to Gaylord College. Sunday Busby is the president of JMAC. She is a Gaylord graduate from year 2000 who majored in public relations. Sunday is the Director of Volunteer Services at the Oklahoma Blood Institute in Oklahoma City. She started her career upon graduation from OU 
with Candid Color Systems Party Picks in Oklahoma City, promoting the company's services. Later, she moved to Fort Worth, Fort Worth, working in the banking industry, doing PR, marketing, and events for a large family-owned bank in North Texas. She returned to Oklahoma and landed a job as an event planner at Chesapeake Energy, where she helped raise millions of dollars during the United Way campaign, planned the company's 20th anniversary party, and helped host concerts with Jewel, Darius Rucker, and Cheryl Crow. Her work with planning Chesapeake's blood drive eventually led her to the nonprofit sector at the Oklahoma Blood Institute. As director of volunteer services there, Sunday serves the Blood Institutes in Oklahoma, Texas, and Arkansas. As JMAC president, Sunday has been keenly involved in its restructuring and increased outreach to alumni. We are very fortunate to have her in this leadership role. Please join me in welcoming JMAC board president, Sunday Busby. Sunday? On behalf of the JMAC Alumni Association for Gaylord College, <clears throat> I congratulate you on achieving this significant milestone. Let me be the first to welcome you to the ranks of the alumni of the Gaylord College. You join a group that is more than 10,000 strong and growing. Years of dedication, study, and hard work have been completed and now the world awaits you. This is your opportunity to take what you have learned and apply it to the challenges of the business world. And while challenges do await you, it is good to know that you are well prepared to meet them because of the education you have received at Gaylord College and the University of Oklahoma. Keep in mind that your education is ongoing and you will have many more opportunities for learning. As with your student experience, the same will hold true for your alumni experience. The more involved you become, the more rewards you will receive in experiences, contacts, and knowledge. As you begin your professional journey, I challenge each of, each of you to strive for success. Visualize your dreams and achieve them. But I also challenge you to remember your heritage and tradition and always to be a supporter of your college and your university. JMAC's primary purpose is to foster our shared traditions and to give back to the college that supported us and gave us a foundation for successful careers. I encourage all of you to join and be involved in JMAC. And again, I congratulate you on a job well done. Thank you, Sunday. I would now like to introduce Assistant Dean Yvette Walker, who will help us honor our students for their academic achievements. Dean Walker. Thank you, Dean Kelly. One of the great joys of teaching is seeing students excel and distinguish themselves among their peers. The University of Oklahoma recognizes students for academic achievement in a number of ways. One way students' academic excellence is signified is by the wearing of a golden hood with their regalia or a blue and gold cord. As a college, we will now acknowledge these groups of individuals. Please hold your applause until the last group has been called. Gaylord uh, College students who maintained a grade point average of 3.6 to 3.79 are designated as graduates with distinction. Will all those graduating with distinction stand and remain standing? Don't be shy. And students who maintained a grade point average of 3.8 to 3.99 are designated as graduates with special distinction. Will all those graduating with special distinction stand and remain standing to be recognized? Congratulations to you. You may be seated. The OU Honors College also recognizes students who have gone the extra mile and taken honors classes and completed an independent research project while, remain, uh, while maintaining a minimum grade point average. We'll now acknowledge these groups of students and again, please hold your applause until the final group has been called. Those honors students who maintained a grade point average of 3.4 to 3.59 are designated as graduating cum laude. 
Will all those graduating with cum laude stand and remain standing to be recognized? All right, we'll move on. Students who maintain. <laughs> Our next category is student who maintained a grade point average of 3.6 to 3.79 are designated as graduating magna cum laude. And our final category is students who maintain a grade point average of 3.8 to 4.0. And they are designated as graduating summa cum laude. Will this final group of honor students join the others to be recognized? Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations once again to these students and their outstanding academic achievements. And now, it is my pleasure to introduce our student speaker and overall outstanding senior, Rachel Meltzer. <laughs> Rachel is a public, re uh, public relations major from the Woodlands, Texas, who has had two minors in arts management and entrepreneurship. She's one of the most accomplished student leaders in Gaylord College. Rachel is the national president of the Public Relations Student Society of America, representing some 400 student chapters and nearly 7,000 students nationwide. She's the first OU student ever to be president of that organization. She also is president of Gaylord College's Ad Club and is active in other organizations across campus. She's had three internships with strategic communication companies in Oklahoma and Texas, and will go to work full-time in Dallas upon graduation. And, oh yeah, she's an A student. Please welcome our outstanding senior, Ms. Rachel Meltzer. Well, thank you so much for that introduction. That was so sweet. Um, so I'm going to just say a few words um, to talk about our time here. So, you know, being College of Storytellers, I thought that it'd be fitting to like tell a short little story to start off. So I was at an admissions and recruitment event once mentioning how the foundation of my OU experience has, you know, it's been my Gaylord experience. And one of the staff members said, you know, Gaylord students just really do love to talk about Gaylord. And I laughed because I knew that it was 100% true. Besides the fact that we know we have the best building on campus, everyone here knows that Gaylord is different and it's different in the best way. When I was asked to speak, I started thinking about the time that I've spent and the people that I've spent the time with here in Gaylord. We spent a lot of time stressing over Capstone, <laughs> um, wondering if we were actually going to hit 11.59 p.m. deadlines, which, let's be real, we did not always, and thank you to the professors who sometimes let us turn it in anyway. But in Gaylord College was also where we were able to make some incredible memories with people that we really care about. We were able to have this community here to grow with, learn, experiment, toss around ideas together, and that's something that I think is just so special and I will cherish for years. Even if Gaylord wasn't where you spent the majority of your time, I really do hope that you, know, you were able to have at least a few moments with the people here that made you proud to be a part of what Gaylord has to offer here. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention and thank some of the people that have helped us get to this point. So thank you to our families, Gaylord's incredible staff and faculty, mentors, and everyone here at OU who has really taken an effort to make our college experiences a great one. I think we all know that we would not have been able to make it here without the people to lean on and celebrate with. So thank you to everyone who has served in those roles for each of us. Aside that, I encourage everyone to take advantage of the opportunities that Gaylord offers us. As many of us has already learned, it really does mean something to be a Gaylord graduate. People recognize how special this is inside Oklahoma and out. We have a network of people all across the country and even the world who know what it's like to be a part of this, and that's something that we should absolutely take advantage of. It's really remarkable to think about how many different directions the people in this room will be taking. We hear it all the time, but a degree from Gaylord College really can take you anywhere that you want to go. I've heard from so many of y'all about your passions, goals, and directions, and I am super excited to see the impact that each of you will have no matter where you go or what industry you go into. So happy graduation and go Gaylord.
Thank you, Rachel. It is my pleasure to introduce our convocation speaker, Ms. Kelly Gann. Kelly is president and partner of Freestyle Creative in Oklahoma City, a full service marketing agency where she leads the team and oversees all aspects of the operation. During her tenure, her, the company has grown tenfold and is on the Metro 50's fastest growing companies. She joined Freestyle in 2014, just a year after she graduated from OU as an advertising major in Gaylord College. She became president of Freestyle by the age of 25. Under her leadership, the company consistently produces award-winning campaigns. Clients include the Chickasaw Nation, the State of Oklahoma, and the Oklahoma City Convention Center. An advocate for the creative class, she is a past president and chairman of the American Advertising Federation of Oklahoma and developed the inaugural diversity, equity, and inclusion program for the American Advertising Federation's 10th District. She's been honored many times for her leadership. She is a 40 under 40 honoree of the Journal Record, the Oklahoma Gazette, and Oklahoma Magazine. In 2018, she was named the Young Advertising Professional of the Year, as well as Woman of the Year, 50 Making a Difference. We at Gaylord College, named Kelly, are distinguished young alumni in February of 2020. And she's certainly no stranger to the college. She serves on the JMAC Alumni Board and is a frequent speaker to several of the clubs and organizations in the college. Some of you graduates may have heard me say that how majoring in Gaylord gives you the best degree on campus to go to work in a variety of aspects in the media world and beyond because of the communication skills you develop and hone in our program. Well, our convocation speaker is an absolutely great example of that. So please join me in welcoming Kelly Gann. Thank you very much for the kind introduction, Dean Kelly. I really appreciate the opportunity to be here today. Oh, you faculty, parents, friends, supporters of all of those who are graduating today, it is awesome to be here and celebrating this occasion with you all. Gaylord graduates, it is awesome to be standing here and looking out at all of you who are now my future industry peers, fellow members of this OU family, and now Gaylord graduates. This is a big moment. You all have been working so hard, learning as much as you can, bettering yourselves and discovering who you are on this journey. And over these past several years, you have experienced so much, everything that's happened in our world, a pandemic, many of us going virtual across the globe, and then let's throw in the emotional roller coaster that was Sooner Football these past several weeks while you were studying for finals. And I was writing this convocation speech. But you know what, we are here now. And I think when we go through challenging seasons, we can choose to look back and we can choose to appreciate some of the good that came out of it. For instance, we got to wear sweatpants for a year and Bob Stoops came back. And you are graduating today. Congratulations. In the past year, in the midst of all of that, I hope that you all had some of your best memories during your time at the University of Oklahoma. I was where you are almost 10 years ago, and for me, while the years have passed, for many of you, much like myself, I had some of my best times here, some of the memories that, honestly, who have made me who I am today. I still vividly remember going through Camp Crimson, and little did I know, because I attended Camp Crimson, I went on to meet a wonderful man who became my husband. He's here with me today. I love him very much also because he listened to the speech about a hundred times in our kitchen this past week. But it was awesome for us to sit back and think about some of our favorite times at OU. For instance, I still very vividly remember pulling my first all-nighter studying for my writing for mass media final. Like many of you, I remember the rush of my senior year at OU Texas when somehow my friends and I lucked out into tickets right on the 50-yard line and the national broadcast caught our screaming faces on national television. I remember hitting Campus Corner with my best friends. I remember ordering the Kate Special almost every single day while I was a student. It was delicious. I hope that's still a thing. And I remember the magic of winter on campus and snow days. And so students, I hope that 
as you're thinking about your favorite memories at OU, as you're writing your love letter to this university today, as you walk across the stage, as you get your diploma today, I hope that you look out at your friends and your classmates, your families, your supporters. I hope you savor the moment and you take it all in because much like your favorite memories at OU, this graduation week, it'll go by in the blink of an eye. And so I hope you get the chance to walk through campus for a last time, back through your favorite study spots at Gaylord, the places you used to tailgate, I hope that as you walk through the South Oval for a last time and as you walk through, you still get chills and you feel the Sooner magic and you hear the bells chiming through campus. It's 10 years later for me and I know I still do. You're graduating today, but you will find that you are always a part of the Sooner family. That's something that I discovered for myself very personally when I was in your shoes. Just getting my start, I had just graduated from OU and I went on to work at a large ad agency here in Oklahoma City as a copywriter. And I got to a point about a year in where I felt that I needed advice as I was contemplating my next step. And I found that even though I had graduated, I could still come back, I could still ask for help. I was always learning, always becoming, and so I came back to Gaylord College, I walked back through the doors, and I sat back down in my mentor's office. And my mentor at Gaylord College was Professor Owen Kulimeka. He was my senior capstone professor, he oversaw my honors research, and I learned so much from him at Gaylord in the world of strategic communications. And so I came back to Gaylord, I sat back in his office, and he gave me, his former student, a pep talk and probably the most important life advice that I could receive at the time, advice that honestly set me on the path to where I am now in my career. I didn't know it at the time, he didn't know it at the time, but I walked into the doors at Freestyle Creative just weeks later, and I am honestly now working in my dream job. That was the last opportunity that I got to sit and talk with Owen because he passed away back in 2015 and he had such an impact on me and left behind such a legacy for his students. And so I hope that his advice that he gave to me, it continues to make an impact for students and graduates like you. And so the advice that he gave me, it was very simple. He asked me two very simple but meaningful questions. And the first question that he asked me was, Kelly, what are you passionate about? What do you care about? So graduates, as you're thinking about that for yourself today, what is it that motivates you to get up each morning? Is it a social cause that you care very deeply about? Is it bettering your community? Is it your interests, your hobbies, your faith? What is it that you care about? The next question that he asked me was, how can you combine that, your passion, with what you're good at? You're graduating today with backgrounds in journalism, writing, public relations, advertising, creative media production, and you've spent the past several years in your time here at Gaylord College learning as much as you can in those tracks, and I'm sure all of you know how important your talents are in today's world. You all are the next generation of journalists, the next generation of storytellers, communicators, and a world where when we think about that, we need that more than ever. It's pretty cool for you all to think that you are here at this place in time, this point in history, with the perspectives that you all have and the strengths and the skill set that you've learned here at Gaylord College. The power of storytelling, the power of information, the power to connect during a time where our world needs that more than ever. And so Owen's advice was simple. It was to sit down and to think about your greater purpose, the reason why you are here on earth. And so graduates, I challenge you to sit down and think about those questions. Think about your why, your purpose. What drives you and what are your values? What do you need to feel fulfilled in your career? What type of vision do you have for your life? What type of legacy would you like to leave behind? That's how I got to where I am by just starting with asking myself those two simple questions. Because graduates, in the blink of an eye, another 10 years will have passed. You'll be sitting on the other side, 
and you'll have a lot of advice to pass along to the next generation of Gaylord grads. Since that meeting with Professor Kulumeka, I picked up some other bits of life advice, career advice that I would love to share with you all today. As you look in the mirror and as you ask yourself those questions of who you are, your values, your purpose, if you keep that front and center, you'll be prepared to face the challenges that come your way. And if there's anything that we have learned over these past several years, it's not a matter of if, but it's when, and you'll be ready. Which brings me to my first bit of advice. Always strive to be above the line, especially when you're facing those challenges and those tough decisions. We're human, we make mistakes, we'll have failures. I know I've experienced my fair share of that over the years. However, if you know yourself, if you keep your values, your purpose front and center, you will know how to stay above the line. You'll know how to do that in your work ethic and the way that you go the extra mile in fostering a positive culture in your workplace and the way that you have the tough and the necessary conversations face to face when the time comes and the way that you do the right thing even when there is an easier and a less painful alternative in the short term and the way graduates that you all choose to leave the world a better place than you found it. Take the high road. Always strive to take the high road because eventually you'll look back at your decisions, the interactions that you had in the workplace, and you will know that you did everything that you could in that moment to make a positive impact. And that'll give you peace of mind. And in a world that is filled with challenges, that peace of mind, I have learned that that's important. The next advice I have is to remember the power of the compound effect. And if you are not familiar with this concept, the compound effect, it centers around the idea that simple everyday decisions, little habits, rhythms, routines that you have, they snowball and they compound over time and they have a tremendous impact on you years from now. The pages that you write in your screenplay to keep the pace each day, the thank you notes that you make a point of sending after graduation because we've learned here at Gaylord College from Lee Reynolds to make sure to send those thank you notes. The outreach emails that you send before you leave the workplace each day, that was really important for me. Those habits, they have an impact on you over time. You'll find that there are different seasons of life. There's seasons for hard work, seasons for balance, seasons for rest. And graduates, you are about to enter into an important season of your life. The work that you put in during this next decade, it will compound and have a tremendous impact on you and the trajectory of your career over time. So in this upcoming season, say yes to opportunities that push you outside your comfort zone. Opportunities that there may be a voice in the back of your head that says, oh, I don't know if you're ready for that, you're too young. You don't have what it takes. I had an internal monologue that said all of those things as I was stepping into opportunities in my 20s. So learn to silence your inner critic and say yes to those opportunities that come your way. You'll always be learning and you'll learn as you go. And you'll find that Gaylord College has equipped you with the foundation and everything that you need to be a lifelong learner. So in this upcoming season, be prepared to challenge yourself and you'll be investing in experience for your future self. And your future self will thank you. Lastly, graduates, the most important advice that I can pass along today is that people matter. Relationships matter. I got to where I am in large part because there were kind-hearted people like Owen, my professors at OU, my business coaches, my bosses over time, they saw something in a young 20-something-year-old me. They helped me and they opened doors and opportunities for me. And graduates, I'm sure many of you today are recounting the people that helped you get to where you are here at graduation. Your professors, your OU advisors, your families, your support system who are here today. Those relationships matter. And as you cross paths with these people over time, it'll be cool for you to see how those life stories intersect and interconnect sometimes in ways that you least expect it. I got my first job out of college because I sat down at a football game while I was really nervous about the job search and I struck up a conversation with a random stranger I was sitting next to. And that random stranger in an act of kindness, he put in a good word for me that landed me an interview and got me my first job at that ad agency. 
You never know who you'll sit next to at that football game, who you'll talk to on an airplane, or who you will meet at Camp Crimson. Be open to those opportunities. Reach out to people. Always go out of your way, even if you are a mega introvert like I am. Always be networking and learn something from others. Relationships matter. And one of the hardest things I think all of us experience is that we don't all think the same. The world is messy because it's made up of people and we are complicated. We all have different weaknesses, different ego, different motivations. But I've learned that if you approach situations with the heart of a servant leader, the heart of helping others, helping your clients, helping your colleagues, helping those in your community, you'll start to see that, that positivity and that spirit of generosity coming back to you tenfold. You can have all the ambition in the world, but progress, true progress, it moves at the speed of relationships. So don't forget that, and don't forget to put people first. If there's anything that this past year has taught us, it's to hug your loved ones close, be very generous in expressing your gratitude, and treat people with kindness. And so graduates, as you are hugging your friends and as you're congratulating your classmates today, I challenge you all in this next step. Ask yourself the questions that Owen asked me. Start with your why, remember the compound effect, and put people first. And you'll be just fine. You'll move in a positive direction. Graduates, your OU family is so, so proud of you. And you're starting at building a legacy that will impact you and your family, your friends, your community, your faith, your world. And you have one life to live. So I challenge all of you to go out there and to make the greatest impact that you can. And know that all of us, your OU family, we are all behind you cheering you on. Congratulations, graduates, and Boomer Sooner. Thank you, Kelly. We have a small gift as a token of our appreciation. Now, if Dr. Peter Gate, the Director of Graduate Studies, will please come forward and preside over the hooding of the graduate students. Thank you, Dr. Stain, and good morning. If I can fix my technical difficulties here. For medieval, for medieval times, academic dress has included three items, the cap, the gown, and the hood. The black gown and the mortar board are traditional items. For graduate students, they the academic wear includes a hood that identifies their degree. And for doctoral students, the hoods are a bit longer, signifying the extra rigor and time it takes to earn the degree. The lining of the hood displays the colors of the college or the university that confers the degree. The color of the velvet band around the neck indicates the scholar's field of study. In our case, that color is crimson, quite appropriate at OU, which also signifies journalism and mass communication. We have three graduate students who will be being hooded today by the chairs or their advisors or former professors of their dissertations, theses, or project committees. Uh, I'll call forward those professors to hood those students in just a moment. Um, first, we ask Dr. Robert Kerr to come forward. And will you please hood your doctoral <clears throat> of philosophy student, Brian Petrata. Brian, please.
Congratulations. Brian. And I will now hood my own master's student, V. Long. V. Our third student, Master of Arts student, Mary Moore, her chair, Dr. Jensen Moore, or Mary Smith, excuse me, her chair, Dr. Jensen Moore, could not be here today, so I have the honor as graduate director of hooding her. Please welcome Mary Smith, Master of Arts. Please congratulate Brian Petrata, PhD, V. Long, MA, and Mary Smith, MA, on completing their degrees. Now it's showtime. It's time to recognize the undergraduate students who are receiving the Bachelor of Arts in Journalism and Mass Communication. Will the fall class of 2021 graduate please stand? <laughs> Dean Kelly, the candidates who stand before you today embody the undergraduate mission of the Gaylord College of Journalism and Mass Communication. They value and protect freedom of expression. They welcome and encourage intellectual and cultural diversity. They exercise critical thinking, and they are creative, ethical, skilled, and socially responsible. They have fulfilled all degree program requirements for a Bachelor of Arts from the University of Oklahoma. On behalf of the faculty of Gaylord College, it is my great pleasure to recommend to you each of these individuals for you to bestow upon them their respective degrees. I offer you the class, the fall class of 2021. Thank you, Dr. Stain. President Harris has delegated to me the authority to honor each of you in convocation this morning upon completion of the work of your degrees. Therefore, it is my great pleasure to congratulate you for your achievements in completing your degree and to recognize each of you as you receive your degree certificates with all the rights, perks, and privileges due to you. I congratulate the fall class of 2021. You are now officially alumni. And now Dean Walker will announce the graduates' names as they cross the stage and receive their diploma covers from me. Faculty from each area will add their congratulations as you exit the stage. As the candidates line up to receive their degrees, family and friends should feel free to take pictures and or shout with joy when your graduate's name is read. But we ask that you try not uh, to leave your seats to take photos. Official photos are being taken by party pics. Advertising graduates, Christian Kobianki, <laughs> Matt.
Madison Monte. Emily White. Isabel Calzada. Catherine Felton. Christopher Waller. Michelle Deason. Grayson R. Sean Boyles. Annie Wellborn. Peters, <laughs> Lindsay Foster, <laughs> Peyton Adams, <laughs> Benny Benford. Olivia White. Mason Trichler. Zachary Linkfield. Reagan Saliba. Claire Castleberry. Molly Fisher. And our final advertising graduate, Philip Hurd. And now for our Creative Media Production graduates, Kayla Pinson, Josh Romer, Charles Summerall, Isaiah Levinson. Tristan Watkins. Andrea Knepp. Madeline Markham. Jarrett Perkins. Yeah. Arhan Harani. Yeah. Devin Flores. Matthew Corbin.
Kelly. Victoria Gill. And our final Creative Media Production graduate, Preston Yates. And now for our journalism graduates, Isabel Ferris. Alison Duran. Kaylee Gwen. Carice Arnold. Robert Loisa Viamontes. <laughs> William Blessing. <laughs> Logan Brooks Morrow. <laughs> Caitlin Deggs. Kayla Davis. <laughs> Devin Field. <laughs> Elise Jones. <laughs> Dayton Deller. Caitlin Arada. Nirali Jaiswal. Miles Hartman. Peyton Little. Isabella Trevino. Joseph Tomlinson. Keegan Williams. Jessica Toll. Taylor Wynn. Ryan Gaylor. And our final journalism graduate, Beth Wallace.
And now our professional writing graduates, America Alano. Lauren Emerson. Haley Timmon. Jessica Jones. Matthew Fisher. And our final professional writing student, Ben Rogers. And, for, and now for our public relations graduates, Bella Koch. Chelsea Black. Jada Love. Marco Turubiartes. Rachel Meltzer. Camille Scott. Sophie Martin. Caitlin Walden. Haley Weaver. Aliyah Alaya. Rachel Baker. Morgan McGlasson. Anna Webb. Christopher Gutierrez. Asher Camp. Kendall Few. Alexis Marvin. Cooper Lee. Kevin Fawn. Aubrey Moore. Alexander Biagio Vaughn. Rachel Anselmo. Catherine Hensley. Haley Friend.
And our final graduate today, Carson Curtis. Let's get another round of applause for all our graduates. We began a new tradition in 2013 as part of our centennial celebration. Now we'll have our outstanding senior, Rachel Meltzer, come back to the podium and lead our new graduates in reciting the First Amendment, which is on the back of your cards. This is one of the first lessons for new journalism students entering the college, and we think a suitable tradition for closing out their time as students. Rachel? All right. We ready? Fellow graduates, please refer to the back of your programs in your seat for your reference and recite along with me the First Amendment of the Constitution of the United States. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or the right of the people to peacefully to assemble and to petition the government for redress of grievances. Thank you, Rachel. That was a wonderful close to our ceremony. Congratulations again to our new graduates. And thank you all for attending our program today. Graduates, on behalf of the faculty and staff of Gaylord College, I wish you nothing but the best in all of your future endeavors, wherever they may lead you. We ask that the audience please remain in your seats until our graduates have filed out. But before we exit, I would ask that all of you please stand if you are able and join us in the singing of the OU chant, led by Rachel Meltzer. The words can be found on the back of your program. Well, 